uh, backers and Curse Grip followers, quick update on kind of how everything's going and to show you something that we actually haven't had a chance to, to walk you through yet, funny enough. We've been so busy with uh, you know, COVID and trying to get shipments on all that good stuff that we haven't shown you the way the shop looks or the way we've moved it around in order to kind of maximize efficiency. So um, first, to the left, this entire section we've kind of designated to the workshop. We're putting a CNC in here to handle uh, some of the more complicated cuts and things we need to do. Um, shipping, so all of this is now where we're handling shipping, we're pre-backpacking accessory boxes and um, you know, storing any of our boxes of material over here. Anything that we cut that's on its way out, we typically will set in this area. Here, you're familiar with the printer and the cutter. Um, we moved from the studio recently, so a lot of the stuff that we had, uh, we now have over in this corner, mostly the Cinti. Things that we're using for design and production, production as you can get at home. Um, part of the mess of both these tables we have, uh, today we're filming for Gen Con. We're gonna have a couple of games that are gonna be um, presented with the grids, and you can see them in action if you look for us. Uh, just look for Curse Crypt to our email and you'll see it. But we now have used both of these tables as our workstations. We've built some custom stuff, you know, rails to hold our rolls, tools to allow us to set our rolls on top of to, to disassemble. Um, this is a mess, of course, but yeah, these, all these tables here are now used for just general production work. Uh, we keep our inventory in the back of the shop now because you know, one side we're, we're using for stuff that's uh, in production and needs, needs a little bit of work. And the other side is for things like all of our art sets. And you can see that we're fully loaded when it comes to the art. It's pretty surprising how much of this this, this actually is. Um, in total, uh, we're at about 700 rolls with, or with uh, I'm sorry, 700? So 700? It's about 700 rolls with 50 feet each. Um, and you can see that actually up here at the top of the shop. We've shown this before, but you know we're running out of space. We're even storing kind of down here in the bottom. But um, yeah, we're, we're maintaining a pretty healthy load of cardboard tubing. So if you have good ideas on what to do with that, let us know. But over here, um, watch out for this. Uh, over here, we've got a lot of our grids that are in currently uh, either they're wrapped and on their way out, or they're um, waiting to be. Uh, put together with all of our neoprene and the other pieces. We have some F stock and B stock and we'll, we'll talk about how we'll get rid of that one of these days. Specifically the B stock, like we've got some things like this, which if you're curious what this is, this is the uh, ocean elements, but this is on the wrong thickness of material. So we don't want to give it to you when it's not the right size, but you know, we'll figure out what we're going to do with these things as time goes on. So there's a lot of that kind of thing happening here in the shop now, but it's a hell of a lot more organized. It's a lot easier to work out of this space, and um, we're outgrowing it already. So hopefully when we launch our website in the next couple weeks, you'll have the opportunity to jump in and grab some stuff that's on its way. Um, we've, answer, we've been answering questions regarding shipping for domestic, the problems we're having with international, of course, uh, what's happening with the cases. I think we've talked about that in some of our updates. Um, and uh, hex grids, goblin glass, I think those are the only things that are kind of in process. Oh, and all of our printing. So, update on our printing. Uh, we have printed almost all of the Party of Two stuff, which is the last of what we needed. Uh, we are working on the ship and the grass elements. I think maybe one more, and that's all that we've got left. The magic shop. The magic shop, which is difficult. And the uh, last piece of the dungeon starter set, which is my art, and I'm kind of running behind on that, so apologies. Um, but yeah, a lot of that stuff. Actually, we haven't shown anybody that at all. It's kind of cool. Uh, Pretty neat. So these are, and I've got it over there on the table, so we'll show them that too. But this is part of the uh, port town or just town elements set, uh, barrels and, and wagons and things like that. Uh, if we look at this guy over here, you know, cannons and cannonballs, uh, sword tables, blacksmithing stuff. Uh, what else? Do we have anything else in this? Oh, here you go. These are all bee stocked, funny enough. Uh, beds and general tables, things that you would use in your game. So this is this is pretty cool, cool work. Um, and of course, that's, as I've said before, Party of Two. We have roads from Party of Two as well, which look great. Uh, the port town itself, which is gorgeous. So lots of really, really great stuff in terms of where we are with, with that production. But we just uh, did another repair, unfortunately, on our machine yesterday, which only put us down for a couple hours, luckily. Uh, and we're back at it today after uh, we're done with our Gen Con recording. So if you're interested in seeing us on Gen Con, 
uh, you can either go to rpgresearch.org, I think it's .org, right? And go to events, and you'll see some of those in there, and it'll say Zach, or Michael, or Greg, and you, that you can connect with us there. Or, even better, uh, check out Gen Con's website, and you'll be able to see the events that are hosted there. Uh, we're, ho we're hosting uh, uh, basic fantasy games, which is new for us. We're typically a D&D squad, but uh, basic fantasy, some tribals, Native American tribal stuff, which is really awesome, and uh, kids on bikes and bubble gum shoe over the course of the next couple days. So, Scooby-Doo mystery! Yeah, so definitely check us out. And if you have any questions, of course, comment below. Um, you know, we're working our butts off for you guys, so definitely make sure you, um, you know, share what you thought, what you received when we ship out the uh, products. Thank you again. Talk to you soon.